Hello, Wimpy Gangsters. This is Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Genshin Impact. And we have to claim some materials. It's something I didn't do last time. We get a wish, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, like, it's one wish. Um, when we're doing wishes in this game, I genuinely want to do 10 at a time because that was the most fun. Um, so, I think when we're going, like, how many? We have a bunch. We have 399 of these. You need 160 for one. We have six. Oh, but they're regular wishes, aren't they? Yeah, so we spend our prior gems on that. This, we need eight wishes for this, or wishes by ten, or wishes by eight, to do this again. Right? Yeah, we need two more two more wishes just to do another Noel banner to get rid of the Noel banner. Apparently, that is what you have to do. I don't know. That's kind of what I see it as. Um, we also, like, have so many, like, little things we can do in this game. One of the things I forgot completely was that, like, you know, like, our sister is actually missing. That's one of the main things we're doing in this game. I was looking for our sister, so these missing per person folders that were put up is to do with our sister. And that's a really, really cool thing that um, Amber did for us. Which I can say safely then, Amber, what a sweet character. <laughs> like, what a sweet character. Um, and I'm also very glad you guys reminded me of that because while I love being so into the story and stuff, it's very easy for me to forget things too because we are playing so much of it at such a, a grand time as well. Um, also, at the same time, we have a lot of quests that we can do here. These are the main quests. These are some story quests that we can do. These are the daily stuff that we can do as well. And this is a world quest we can do also. Yeah. And then also at the same time, we have this. Marvelous merchandise. Huh? They say they're very striking characters appear to monster. They claim to have some new deals which you could share with some partners. What? Wait. So, this this guy here? Because I was wondering, he did look new. Hello, Lieben. Hello, friend. It's been a long time. Lieben, I trust you've been well. Lieben, I don't know who you are, buddy. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, life is full of triumphs and setbacks. I've grown used to it. You know, a small illness is nothing to write home about. A minor losses are just part of the game. I suppose you could say I've been well enough. <laughs> How about you, friend? Uh, not bad. That's marvelous to hear. I'm overjoyed today because I've run into you once again, my friend. Anything interesting happening lately? Don't you think I ought to head to uh, Natlan and seek out new business opportunities? Seize the day and strike while the iron's hot? <laughs> I don't actually want to go to Natlan this time. A few days ago, I accidentally fell into a hole and spent a whole night staring at the stars. That definitely doesn't count as having been well lately. Anyway, I was rescued by a passing adventure and I didn't even get hungry down there. As well as the all wins, all, all's well that ends well, am I right? Looking up at the stars at night, I couldn't help but wonder, what lies beyond this world? Uh, endless distance and endless worlds. <laughs> you think so too, friend? I was thinking, uh, what if every single star was actually the sun, and each of those suns had a planet orbiting it that we could visit? Or what if we could visit every single star themselves? After all, they just give off a light, maybe they aren't even that hot. The nights there could be quite bright, you couldn't sleep with that much light. Trying to trailblaze a new trade route? Do the nations up in the sky use more too? But if those places are lit up all day long, then nobody can live up there, right? Back to the matter at hand. Our deal is still on, right? No changes. Can you run me through your background again? I'm leaving. And once upon a time, I sold curios. Curios are like little curiosities, like little tiny like trinkets and stuff like that. I've been doing good business recently. What kind of business are you talking about? That's simple, you see. You just need to find me a few basic everyday items, cooking ingredients and the like, and then you trade them with me for a box of marbles. That's uh, stuff full of all kinds of nice little treasures. Keep in mind that I filled these boxes of marbles with the fortune I made uh, in my time as a speller of curios. There's no booby prizes to be found here, and I treat all my customers the same. Why box them up and turn into a lucky draw, you ask? <laughs> what can I say? People like a gift box. It makes everyone a little more inclined to get involved. It does. It's very kind of sweet. Um, how are you going to earn more or like any more like this? Something like this. Let's worry about it when the time comes. If the worst comes to worst, I'll trip uh, to make I'll make your trip to Natalie next time. I'm here for my box of marvels. That is usually as such. Forty prio gems. Is that worth it? Oh no, sorry. That's what you get. <laughs> uh, I have those. Yeah. Oh my god. Thanks. Any more? Yeah. Oh. Okay, that's that was really worth it. 40 prio gems for a freaking few pieces of food that I already had? 
You know what I mean? I already had that stuff. So is it in-game days or is it like outside, like actual real world Jules days? That's the thing. Um, okay. So also, if we look at this here, there's character trials, isn't there? We did that. A test run for Raiden Shogun. So people talk about these trials a lot. Um, but will this help me do Sayu's stuff as well? Let the magic begin. That's the thing. Uh, oh, this is Sayu's. Nice to meet is it? No, it's Yang Dash Shang Ling's. What is this? What is the like, test run? The Radiant Shogun's elemental skill, Transcendence, Baleful Omen, will grant each nearby party member Eye of Stormy Judgment that perform coordinated attacks alongside them, dealing AoE, AoE electric damage. When party members affected by the Eye of the Stormy Judgment use their elemental bursts, they will cure resolve for the Radiant Shogun's chakra, Desiderata. With the Raiden, uh, when the Raiden Shogun uses her elemental burst, she will use up all resolve uh, cured by the Chakra Desiderta and deal electric damage using her Muso no Hitachi. After this, she will use her sword in battle with her attacks storing energy for her party members. The greater amount of resolve consumed, the more powerful her Muso no Hitachi will be, and uh, sword attacks will be, uh, will, attacks after that will be. Additional elemental orbs will uh, drop during the trial event challenge to facilitate the testing of the trial character's elemental burst. So. These are all the different characters that you can use for these trial. Um, start challenge, I guess. Um, we're going to do this once just because, you know, people are very much acting nicely about this. So that's how you do that. So wait, if you hold it, it does something different. Hold on a second. I want to see this now for a second here. If you hold it, it does something different. But if you do this... When I was doing something before, it did something way different. Why did it change? Oh, this is not the same character. <laughs> this is not the same character. There's Zhang Ling! Oh my god! I, 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 I completely thought it was a, it was, it, that was the character we already had. No problem, by the way. Uh, I forgot about the elemental stuff, follow, by the way. I uh, had no problem. Insolent. Um, <laughs> using some of these characters here now, because a lot of people did suggest it, and like when enough people suggest it, it's like okay, like Everybody there definitely is me. something here that like I'm definitely missing. You know what I mean? If I'm, if everyone else is saying you should try out the trials, then you should definitely do it. You know what I mean? And I'm not gonna say like it's gonna make me an expert or anything like that, but like at least like we can try it once and see how I feel about the trials, because again, there's no point in like just being stubborn about it when there's like clearly level 80, nice. Now you shall perish. This is a completely different character than what I thought I got. I thought I got the girl in the picture, but I got a different girl. It's just because they bought her purple hair, that's my bad, I guess. I thought Raiden Shogun was like her nickname. <laughs> I thought that was Sarah. <laughs> my bad. But these characters are cool, and you can get Jangling as well. Escape. That is interesting. What about, um, so we tried Bennett out as well. And then Jangling is also another, uh, fire character. But I like Jangling a lot. Jangling was really fun. Jangling was like a super fun character. What about this character? We haven't used this one. Oh, water damage as well. Okay. Rain outlines your fate. And then we can do this to like electrocute them. Okay, cool. Challenge complete. Current challenge complete. You may leave the stage to collect rewards or continue on trying this character out. I think we'll exit the stage for now. Um, if you want me to go further, we can. Do we get rewards for just doing that though? Claim. Okay. Cool, so we got some we got some rewards for that. But you get oh it's depending on the character you trial out. Oh, okay, so you could like if we're trying out different characters, we get different rewards. And you actually get some really nice rewards for it too. Um 
You know, we've already used them, so we might as well just do them now. Um, and they're really nice. They actually are nice rewards. So this is... Yo, yo, me, yo. <laughs> elemental skill converts her normal attacks into blazing arrows that deal pyro damage. Her elemental burst deals AoE pyro damage that, and applies Auras Blade to one of the, uh, her opponents. When opponents under the influence of the Auras Blade, um, Blaze, sorry, are hit by most attacks from other party members, an explosion occurs dealing AoE pyro damage. Additional elemental auras will drop during the trial. Yeah, okay, okay, so that's fine. So we'll start this trial again. Cool character design as well, though, on this. Wait, can we, like, change who we're... I guess we're going to change who we're trialing later, but... Defeat 10 opponents. Okay. Overload as well with these guys. I kind of, like... Is, is, maybe I'm ima imagining things because maybe I think they are higher leveled or something like you're trying them at probably their best here as well but like am I wrong in saying that like for some reason um for some reason like her bow was way faster than, than Amber's I could be wrong it'd be cool to get her like it'd be really cool to get her So these are all just trial characters though as well. This is the character, this is the new character we're using here actually. Oh my god, oh I, sh I should have moved out of the way. But still though. Very cool. And then we can use you to melt you up. And you as well. Really fun characters actually, yeah really fun. And I have no problem doing the, um... Strike is one. Witness the power of the one. Time to act. But see, that won't do much for us here, though, won't it not? <laughs> Set you on fire. I mean, I guess we could, like... I feel like I'm not using the regular elemental stuff, really. Fire hazard. And you're, like, proper... Water. Time to act. Okay, I'm not great at this. I guess it's here. just like <laughs> trying to avoid this as well. I'm going in. Off we go. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect the second hit like that. Flags up. Such a cool move from this character. Really cool. I like it. Break a leg. We also remember we have normal moves, but I guess it's just because we're just trying trying out the new moves a lot. Rain outlines your fate. I guess this is like a vaporizing. Yeah, the vaporizing does a bit more damage after the vaporize. That's really cool. Look, like, imagine like going from hold on a second, like going from this guy here, and let me just do it again just for the sake of it. You know what I mean? We'll do we'll practice again. How many enemies have you almost beat all of them? Time to act. Um, you could go from like doing like a. Like a special no, move soul. of water straight into a va vaporize. You know what I mean? And like still have the water on you like this. Look. They get wet. And you vaporize. And you can like take advantage of that damage increase then as well. That's so cool. That is so cool. Strike is one. Black fly. Observe. Definitely not great with this combination, uh, but I love the fire guys actually though. I'd actually really like to get them. That would be a, a definite wish of mine. Everybody stand back! Oh, that's some good damage too, though. I'm probably doing absolutely horrible in these trials, but look at that. Cool. Okay. Um, we'll exit the stage for now and we'll try out the other characters. Um, I think the rewards are actually very good. Claim those items. Um, let's try out Executor of Justice. Sh 
Chevru, Chevru, uh, elemental skill deals pyro damage and heals your current active character for a certain duration after being used. Hold to enter Amy mode before using. In addition, her elemental skill is able to deal uh, USA align pyro damage at intervals. Whenever a nearby party member triggers an overload reaction, the next time Chevru holds her elemental skill, the damage will be increased. The next time she holds her elemental skill. Okay. Also, when the elemental type of the entire party meets the requirements, Chevru's buff, uh, buffs the entire party and decreases the pyro and electro re resistance of enemies affected by overload. Reactions triggered by her party members. Her elemental burst deals AoE pyro damage and splits into smaller secondary explosive shells that burst after a short delay, dealing additional pyro damage. Additional elemental orbs will drop during the trial event. Yeah, okay. So let's try her out. Really cool design again. All these characters have really, really cool designs in fairness. We have Lisa with us for some reason. Yeah. So. Oh, it's a spear character. Love it. Love it. I really want a spear character on my team. Oh my god, oh, don't know I need this girl on my team. <laughs> I need this girl on my team. Are you kidding me? Let's overload these guys. Oh my god. I need this girl on my team, guys. I need her bad. <laughs> I need her on the team. <laughs> guys, uh, who's uh, another character as well? Fischl? Fischl we know about because you can buy, right? You can buy Fischl. I've seen Fischl before. You can definitely buy Fischl. Though this is a mixture of like overload and electricity because we use both characters. Really cool. Come a little closer. <laughs> Try not to enjoy this too much. And do we go Come like this again closer. with these guys? Okay, let's try and do You're it without getting hurt. <laughs> Come a little closer. Come on, second, one second, guys. There you go. And then, oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Do we feed twelve opponents? We have this. We have this. We have this. We have freaking gun. That's what we have. You're in for a little shot. Blitz. A little overload for yourselves. Just knock you guys out, but then I can't believe we just ran off the edge. That's that's very funny. Here's backup. And then surrender and be gentle. And then switch to you again. Look at that! Oh my god, that's beautiful. It's giving me so many ideas of stuff I can do as well with my own characters if I set up a team properly. Like, and maybe putting Lisa on the team isn't a terrible idea after all. You know what I mean? But then again, like, again, I like using characters who, like, look cool and have cool animations. Man, have we ever got, like, Toma on our team, for example? He's awesome. But, like, so far, this character's been, like, my favorite to use. It's a freaking gun. Guys, it's a gun. Wings of darkness. This character's cool, too. Night from day. Like... I think you can just like straight up like in the menu it has an option to like buy this character Come which is really funny. Closer. No one do anything. You've been a naughty boy. Justice will prevail. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> Guys, I'm so in love with this character. Supporting fire. I'm like I'm in love with all these characters. They're so much Midnight fun. Fantastic this move, not so much. Yet. Like I could do it official. Like I'm not I'm not a big fan of that. Let's things up a little. Um, then we do this. Stop right there. Do a little overload. Overload fusion style. You asked for it. So fun. Oh, could you imagine like a mixture of Sarah and Chevro together? That'd be so sick. Oh my god, that'd be sick. What are you guys thinking about that? Like, I think that if we ever got her, that would be like the coolest freaking thing. But then again, it's I think it's like a I, I'd say we're gonna have to like. It, it'd be very lucky to get her, wouldn't it? It'd be very lucky. Okay, so yeah, these. This is who we're. Yeah, this is this is our character. This is why I thought. Yeah. Okay, my bad. Yeah, because this is a different character altogether. Yeah. No, that's my bad altogether. Because I I think I saw this and I was like, okay, we could do Sarah's uh, thing, and people told me we could do Sarah's. Um, let's try it out. I wish we had a Sayu trial. That'd be fun. Uh, Kujo Sarah's elemental skill allows her to next to to next fully charged aim shot to grant her crow feather cover. The arrow fired will leave a crow feather behind that will trigger Tengu Jurai 
is an ambush. It's an ambush which deals AoE electric damage and also increases the attack of nearby characters. Oh, cool. When her, when she uses her elemental burst, she will uh, strike a target with, uh, uh, area with the Tengu Jedi um, Titan Breaker, dealing AoE electro damage, causing several consecutive Tengu Jedi storm clusters to spread out, dealing more instances of AoE electric damage. These Tengu Jedi can also increase the attack of uh, characters near the point of impact. Additional elemental auras will drop during the project. Okay, so let's... We actually have this character. The arrow fired will leave a crow feather behind that will trigger Tengu Dry Ambush. That's the that's our little ability. Um, when she uses her elemental burst, she will take strike. She, she will strike a target area with Tengu Dry Time Breaking the AOL action. Okay, we can do this. And who do we have? Jangling, Lisa, and Barbara. Okay, so starting off, this is like our little dodge move, though, right? But that leaves behind a. A crow move. Right? I could be completely wrong about that. And then we also have Lisa. You're in awesome. for a little shock. Blitz. I don't want to get the water away from Come a little closer. <laughs> Look at that. And then we could like nice vaporize him. Yeah, no, I love Jangling too. Like, we get Jangling on the team. That's a dream. That is, that, that's, that's an actual dream for me. If I'm being honest. Your ability too. That's, yeah, it's such a good move as well. But then again, we don't get to see it a lot because I probably don't use her as much as I should. You know what I mean? Try not to enjoy this too much. Um, I should definitely use her a lot more. Oh my, who are you? Who are you? This character's outfit is awesome too. Some just really like awesome character outfits, right? Like really awesome character right. outfits. Um, wait, actually one second here. I want to let you get you first, if that's okay, thank you. And then we'll try and do this. Yeah, and J Jangling's out, like is really freaking cool. Her outfit's really cool. Her uh, combat's really cool. Um, I hope we get to get her at some point. That'd be really, really nice to get Jangling. Um, in terms of, by the way, like how you know, people are constantly asking, you know, well, when's the next video? When's the next video? Um, I'll just let you guys know, like how you know, right now it's Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, but like at any point, like because I do quite enjoy this game, like we could do it, like you know, we could do Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. You know what I mean? We could do something like that if, like, that's the case. You know. Uh, when Bennett uses elemental skill, he can charge up to multiple levels, which have different effects. From smoothly dealing pyro damage to greatly, love the alpha by the way. From uh, to great to dealing greater damage, um, sorry, to smoothly dealing pyro damage to dealing greater damage, but sending himself flying in an ensuing explosion, so he will not be injured by it. His elemental burst strikes the ground with pyro to create an inspiration field. This field continually infuses the characters with pyro and regenerates health for characters with low health. When the health of the characters within the field exceeds 20 to 70 percent, the field provides an attack bonus instead. Additional elemental orbs will drop during the trial event challenge to facilitate testing of the tri uh, trial character's elemental burst. Okay, let's try it out. Yeah, cool it out, but look at this. And who do we have with us? We have a really cool crew as well. Okay, let's try it out. Yeah, these trials are, um... So what's your... Yeah, your, these trials are fine. You know what I mean? They're, they're grand. Like, I don't think they're going to ruin the surprises I thought they would. I think I just like for myself thought that's what was gonna happen, but um, Adventure time. you're water as well, aren't you? And you're electricity. I Lisa's <laughs> AOE move. You've been a naughty Actually, boy. very good, right? I'm going in. Like actually, very good. Oh, it would have been nice to have this now, wouldn't it? Get out of here! Take cover. We have to be closer with that move for sure. Um. What if you do this? Surrendering will be gentle. So they're like electrocuted, superconducted, and then I do this. Huh? And melt them down! In the morning. Yeah, we're gonna feel in the morning, but still watch this. Teamwork is dream work. Get off it! Get off! I don't wanna I don't wanna fall off either. <laughs> this is actually really fun. And like it just goes to show me like all these characters feel so different by the way. Like it, it's so it, it feels so different to play as every single character in this game like compared to just like playing as one like it's 
impress it all because so everyone's like that so we might as well er there's a few keep them on fire so come a little closer <laughs> yeah overload them a bit and now they're like, like that overload them again and now like this let's let you get them again <clears throat> and then let jangling go in nice oh look at this over here look at that let that go down there and yeah, like, by the way, I am seeing a lot of your comments and like, you know, some of the same stuff is coming up. Use your elemental skills more, um, especially with Amber. Amber is better if you use your elemental skills. Um, I totally get that. We will definitely, I definitely want to like, you know, not, you know, and, and you know, we're getting the hang of a lot of stuff. But at the same time, it's good to like get another hang. We, we spent quite a bit of time on this. So like, I think we're going to be done with the, the trials now, I think, though. That was fun, though. That was fun. That's fun. I like that. So let's claim our stuff. Nice. Now, in terms of our party setup... Wrong thing. In terms of our party setup... We have mail as well. We'll check our uh, mail in a second. Uh, who I want in this party? We're going to keep Wander. I'm going to change it back to... We're going to keep Wander as the rock ability for now. Um, I think... This is the setup we want for a while. We need fire at some point too, though. that's the only thing. So I might swap out you and put in Amber until we get another fire character. Amber, Amber's good. Morning. It's just I think the problem is I think I even explained that I'm not I don't ha have a lot of fun with her combat all the time. Um I think both I think I think this is a good team. I know Sayu is my favorite Sayu is a mainstay, Sayu's staying no matter what. Um and the thing is about Sayu is that I know we can't ascend her, but I will ascend her uh, eventually. I'm keeping her in the team even if she's level twenty. That's, that's what's going to happen here. Uh, and that's maybe stubborn, but I like her as a character. She's the most fun character I've had so far. Um, we can see we can't ascend her just yet. We need more ability. But I think maybe we can ascend you now because we got new abilities. We got some stuff. We still need that one material, which is fine. Uh, we can eventually ascend you. Um, and here are the talent skills. Um... And these are stuff that I didn't check out before, but yeah, we can see here the charge attack performance more precise aim shot with increased damage while aiming crackling lightning will accumulate on the arrowhead an arrow ch uh, fully charged with st uh, the storm's might will deal electro damage. We know that and the plunging attack uh, fire off a shower of arrows in midair before falling. I didn't know that you could do this at all. That's actually really cool. And then we have the Tengu storm call retreat rapidly with the uh, speed. Yeah, this is the retreat. Uh, gains a, cr a crow feather cover for 18 seconds, and when Kujo Sara flies, uh, fires a fully charged aim shot, but crow feather cover will be consumed, and will leave a crow feather at the target location. Crow feathers will uh, trigger Tengu dry ambush after a short time, dealing electric damage and granting the active character with an AOE attack bonus uh, based on Kujo Sara's base attack. The attack bonuses are different from Tengu. Dry. Okay, so we can, we can kind of yeah, the different from uh, Tengu dry will not stack, and their effect duration will be determined by the last Tengu dry to take effect. Okay. Uh, and it's the Tengu race have never lacked for exceptional talents who have received the Electrovision. Electrovision. So, so it's called the Electrovision. Like in their culture. Like, oh, you were born with the Electrovision. Um, it's just that they often habitually chant uh, praises to the Electro um, Acorn while manipulating Electro. Uh, manipulating manipulating electro, electro. Sorry, guys. I'm all over the place today. Uh, the chants go something like this. Show forth your might, O praiseworthy Nakurumai. Uh, Nak Narukami, sorry, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and grant this supplicant your thunderous might. Sawaka. Cool. And then we have Subjugation Koku Sendu. Cast down Tengu Dry, uh, Titan Breaker, dealing AoE uh, electro damage. Is it ten it's Tengu, not Tenchu. Afterwards, Tengu Dry Titan Breaker spreads out in four consecutive bouts of Tengu Dry Storm Cluster, dealing AoE Electro damage. Tengu Dry Titan Breaker and Tengu Dry Storm Cluster can provide the active character within their AoE this, with the same attack bonus as the given elemental skill Tengu Storm Call. The attack bonus provided by various kinds of Tengu Dry will not stack, and their effect and duration will be determined by the last Tengu Dry to take effect. Sarah departed from her people, the Tengu, and also temporarily lost her fate in the Tenaru. Ten, ten, tenyuru, tenyuru, tenyuru commission, but once the clouds over her heart cleared, she found her own lightning anew. That's beautiful. So, like, she took her a while to kind of, like, really um, get a hold of her 
uh, own feelings on our own art, our own talent, which I think is very cool. Uh, we also have this uh, lovely creature who is awesome. Uh, normal attacks perform up to four consecutive strikes, charged attack, drain stamina over time to perform continuous spinning attacks. We know this one, and plunging attack, yeah, we know this. Then we have this, which is the Yahoo Art, <laughs> uh, Fu and Dash, which is the move that we didn't quite get the hang of last time. Special technique, the Yohu, Yuhu, Ninja Arts, Sayu curls up into a rolling Fufu -fu wind wheel and smashes into opponent at high speed, dealing Amino damage. When the duration ends, she unleashes a Fufu -fu whirlwind kick, dealing AoE Amino damage, Animo damage. Uh, press uh, enters Fufu -fu into whirlwind sight, rolling, so the hold is what we're looking at. Rolls about continuously in the Fufu -fu wind wheel state, increasing Sayu's resistance to interruption while within that state. During this time, Sayu can, can control the direction of a roll, and can use the skill to end her wind wheel state early and unleash a stronger version of the Fufu Whirlwind Kick. The whole version of the skill can trigger elemental absorption, so that's what we're doing, yeah. The skill has maximum duration of 10 seconds and enters CD uh, cooldown once it affects end. Uh, the longer Sayu remains in the wind wheel state, the longer the CD. So elemental absorption. If Sayu comes into contact with any elements while in her wind wheel state, she will deal additional de elemental damage of that type. Elemental absorption may only occur once per use of skill. Sayu can pull the skill off with her eyes closed. This technique was originally created for escaping, but now that she's got the vision, a vision, might as well uh, make her foes eat dirt while she's out. Yeah, the vision is what they call it, isn't it? Because we said Wander doesn't have a vision, which is probably why he's able to switch between arts and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And this is a Mujina Flurry. Mujina Flurry. Uh, the other super special technique, Yuhu. Uh, ninja Arts, it's someone's pair of helping hands for Sayu, it deals animo damage to nearby opponents and heals all nearby party members. The amount of HP restored is based on Sayu's attack. This skill then summons Muji Muji Daruma. Muji Muji Daruma, at specific inter intervals, the room will take one of several actions based on the situation around it. If HP of the nearby characters is above 70%, it will attack nearby opponents dealing animo damage. If there are active characters with 70% or less HP, it will heal the active characters with the lowest percentage HP left. If there are no opponents nearby, it will heal active characters nearby, even if they have 70% HP or more. So that's good to know. People who don't know who the first thing about ninjutsu love to watch Sayu show off her skill, and some have tried to learn from her, but Sayu just wants to sleep and not be disturbed. She's freaking awesome. She's amazing. What's this as well? When Sayu is in the party, her characters will not startle crystal flies. Oh, so this is like a like a cool art. Check the other subcategory of living. Beings wildlife section to Archai. Oh, because she's so sweet that they love her so much. So she has one of these too. Believe it or not. Land survey. When dispatched an expedition in Umazuma, in Umazuma time uh, consumed is reduced by 25%. Amber has gliding champion, which... It, have I been using yet? Yeah, decreased gliding stamina consumption. I've been using this normally all the time. Uh, frenzied rock slide we don't have. So here's the thing. We can now ascend these talents, right? But I want to read what they read what this does above all else. You can disgor disgorge a meteorite from the depths of the earth, dealing AOE geo damage. The meteorite is considered a geo construct and can be climbed or used as a block attack. So that's why it stays there like that. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. And what is all this stuff? We need some stuff to activate this. Yeah. Okay, we've spent a lot of time kind of just exploring our characters and things like this. This is the team right now. This is our team. I like our team. You know what I mean? It's good. It's a really good team. Because we spent a lot of time doing that today, because we spent a lot of time doing that, uh, we will make this video extra longer. Uh, so there's a, first of all, there's one over here in the direction we're pointing at. Um, and we'll do our daily commissions really quickly. You know what I mean? Music here is fantastic. Yeah, I don't know, like, I think it was fun to do what we did there. You know what I mean? Oh, there's, there's enemies out here. There's only one thing that can stop these guys. You annoying kids? Hey, kid, sorry. Hey, I cannot use an arrow to save my life. It's just against these guys. They're, they're like, always jumping around. I guess we should aim it higher, maybe? What? That didn't work either. You know what? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> it like... I understand this is what you have to do. If we're gonna be using her, by the way, more, uh, I'm gonna give her a better bow as well. 
Why can't oh, oh these guys stop moving? Please! So I can kill you. There we go. Look at that. Timing. Oh god, no, that wasn't the timing. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, when they get close to as well. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, yeah, get close. Come here. I wanna talk to you. <laughs> I wanna talk to all of you. Come here, I wanna talk to you for a second. Something I wanna talk to you all about. Look at that, I wanna use dead now. Because you wouldn't talk to me. Isn't that crazy? No conversations with you guys. I love you guys. You're my best friends. Best buds. Look at this. You just have to wait for him to get close. Ah! On some, on some occasions. Ah, not that guy. <laughs> you guys need to stop, I'd say. Okay, get Sayud. Look what happened. Look at this. I, I tr You're lucky Sayu can swim. If you drown Sayu, it would be the end. Oh god, we might die. Sayu, do not, do not show me Sayu dying. That would have been the worst thing in the world. Arthur, how's it going, bud? Thank you, saved my life. Those slimes came out of nowhere. I didn't think they would show up around these parts. Before I knew what was happening, I was surrounded. Please don't tell my father. He's already been nagging me to stay home and staying us and saying the slimes around here are supposed to be getting more hostile recently. With slimes appearing close to the city, I've been stuck at home for days now. I managed to slip out today without him noticing. If you don't mind, can you check the coast is clear now? Uh, sure. It won't take me long. Great. Looks like my father will never have to find out. Oh, so there's like another... He gave us a different quest as well. So that, does that not count as our... Uh, wait. Does that not count as one of our commissions? I thought that would count as a commission. I guess that's not. I guess that just gives us another quest. Okay, we're going to travel to here. Uh, first of all, to get to the other uh, commission. We're going to do our commissions really quick. We're not going to lollygag, lollygag too much. You know what I mean? In the right, Sayu. That's right. Yeah, Sai was a mainstay. Sai was not leaving the team, regardless. And it doesn't. Yeah. And here's the thing: like you can, you, like I, I always take suggestions, as you guys know. But at the same time, taking Sai off the team, I'm just letting you guys know: if you take Sai off the team, I'll respond to you, like you were insulting my family. Okay? Is that fair enough for you guys? We all understand right. ourselves. <laughs> Get Sai. That's why I say. Get Sai. It's not her fault she's fantastic, you know what I mean? It's not her fault. Not her fault at all. Oh, who are we killing? Are we killing you guys? You guys want to die? Okay, everyone got around. I got something to show you. It's really funny. No, it's actually really funny. Come here. Watch this. Look. Look at this. That's the first thing we're going to do. Then we're going to get Sayud. It's not even fair. Look at this. Wait, now we should try out this thing. Actually, I, I have an idea. Let's 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 build up ourselves again and try out this thing. Cause now we can do it fully. And we can like build up a fire and get vapor. Look at that! Oh my god, it's so cool. And then the kick as well. I wanted to see the kick. You get you can get into the water there. You you get in the water, fish. Any reinforcements coming? Trying to pick up all these items as well to make sure we have them. Okay. Do you like rocks? Look at that. That's cheating. It's not cheating, Amber. They're very just very talented. Overload you a bit there. Sorry about that. And you know what? Get Sayud. Asher got Sayud. See, what's, look, look what's happening here. You see this? Is this what we actually have to do, probably? <laughs> Me just killing enemies for the sake of it. Can you guys stop throwing stuff at me if that would be okay with, with you guys? Not trying to be mean. Watch this, now you're gonna get fired. Look at that. Co-op unlocked. The condom between worlds has been activated. Travel to another world. Is that because we leveled up a bit? Domain of forgery unlocked. Take on the challenge of domain forgery and earn... Uh, 
No, I'm okay. Uh, we're not going to be doing co-op mode. Uh, just being honest with you guys now, I love the feeling of playing solo. Uh, it's like my favorite thing in the world. Um, don't get off the screen. <laughs> You're not, we're not doing that. Okay, actually, I'll go to the map here. Um, we should have activated this in fairness. But then again, it's, I think it's down lower to the ground, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So it actually makes sense to go over here instead towards Windrise. And actually... Oh, they're making me do this, aren't they? Okay, I opened it. So these are all friend requests, I think. No, they're not friend requests. These are people who are looking for requests, I think. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Um, and I personally, like, I appreciate it. We might be able to do a video sometime where, like, uh, someone's able to help me out with some stuff. I just love playing solo in this game. It's so much fun. Where are we going, actually? Opposite way. Yeah. Uh, I know there was suggestions as well of, like, uh, play some stuff off camera. I want I want to do everything on camera. I want, like, I want this playthrough to be, like, all on camera. I think that's why, you know, that's one of the reasons why some of my playthroughs I actually, like, love and adore. You know what I mean? It's, like, the idea that, like, all these games are on the, the channel and every single minute we played was on the channel together. And yeah, I get those daily commissions. I like to, I don't mind doing the daily commissions because they actually like help us with combat. They help us help us explore. And then we get to do stuff anyway. Like these videos are long. These videos are long boys. You know what I mean? These are, these are, these are long boy videos. These are videos for people who love long boys. You know what I mean? These are, these are chunky fellows is what I would say. You know what I mean? That's not like we're not getting stuff done either, you know? It's not like we're not getting stuff done. And they only take like like 20 minutes tops to do all these commissions, don't they? Okay, Sayu, some dangerous stuff coming up here. They're gonna have to get Sayu, okay? See those swan see those uh, herons up there? Sayu them? Sayu them. You sure? Yes, Sayu them. Okay. Come here, buddies. Oh god, I failed. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'll Sayu them next time. You do what you have to do. You don't worry about. Oh. Yeah. Everyone, come here for a second. Glory to the show. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No. No escape. Vaporize. <laughs> really cool. That was awesome. How we could use the elemental damage around us. Are you trying to, buddy? Listen here. I I I don't love you. Oh no, you're about to get electrocuted in there and vaporized. Look at this. Your buddy's not helping. Why aren't you? This should be fishing. Why? This should be fishing a barrel. In what world is that not okay for me to hit them? Okay, that's a Get Sayud. Actually, get Sayud. <laughs> get Sayud, buddy. That's what I say. You know? Do you, you get out of there. <laughs> Who's left? Oh, look at this. If it isn't Billy Bobby and his the Bobby tools. I'll race you there. Okay, I want to try something actually. That's not it. I thought we could like shoot arrows from the sky. Oh, you have to do this. I guess not. Oh man. You know what? There's only one thing for this. Get Sayud. Calvin, some people are saying your 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 dependence on Sayu is a crutch. It's not a crutch, it's a way of life. Oh my god, Sayu, I'm so sorry. If I if I didn't depend on you so much, watch this. We let's do let's do fire wheel. Look at that. You asked for this, guys. You know. Yeah. See how I see what happened there, Sayu. They got freaking Sayud. Oh wait 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 wait. Make sure we're collecting all the items around here. 
Make sure we're collecting all the items. You know what? You know what actually has been happening as well, guys? I'm not even joking. Because, like, the natural button for me to pick stuff up is the triangle button. Like, I've been like, I thought I had been walking by everything picks stuff up. I keep pressing triangle. So, it's square. That's my bad. That's me being silly. You know what I mean? That's my bad. Um... Because triangle is a big pickup button in a lot of games. Like, it, literally, I'm playing a game right now that it has triangle uh, in it as well. Like, you know, it, it's... So, like, it was just a natural thing for me to, to, to press triangle. Um, which means, legit, now, we can go into Cider Lake right there. And there's another one here. There's one up here by Dapida Gorge. But that's also this... There's also a, a main mission up here. Uh, let's go to Dapida Gorge. Dapa Dupa. Let's go to Dapa Dupa Gorge. Hey guys, I'm back. Remember me? I'm the guy who just killed everyone over here. And now I'm back in the Dapa Dupa Gorge. Sayu style. So it's this way? So the Thousand Winds Temple, that, that's, a, that's a mission that was given to us by... Let's check it. Like, what what is the Thousand Winds Temple mission? Oh, this is the main mission. <laughs> uh, we're not going there as yet. So Big Pudgy Problems is another one. Slines have suddenly appeared in Monsanto Docks. It means our have been caught up in the commotion. And there's an emergency... Okay, look. We'll, we'll just follow whatever we follow. We'll follow wherever we follow. And we'll do our daily commissions. Sayo, you see that rock over there? Possibly. You want to do something about that? I will. Take, I'll take the crystal first. Yeah, you will take the crystal first. We're going to get Sayo? They're going to get Sayo. Well done, Sayo. No problem, man. You need to help, really. Nap time. So where are we going? She's constantly wanting to sleep. We have to let her sleep sometime, guys. Uh, where is it? It's just up here. Yeah, towards towards this mission up this way. Actually, is it towards the Thousand Winds Temple? No, it's this way. Why is that pointing that way? Oh, because it's up and, about, up and about. Oh, yeah, our mail. Our mail. Okay. I'll, I mean, yeah. I'll take it. Gift mailbox. Wait, what? Oh, these are characters sending us stuff. Cool. Thank you. And also, yeah, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do everything. We'll do everything. We'll do everything. Apple cider. Ew. Apple cider is actually very good. It's very, very good. I personally don't drink alcohol anymore. Um, so like, hasn't touched my lips in a very long time. Make my escape. Yeah. Uh, get wandered. Am I right? Why'd you do this? Look at that. That did not. <laughs> I understand what it is now, though, which is good. You know what I mean? It's 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 it's. At first, I didn't understand what it was. So this is a temple we have to go to, and we have to defeat this guy. We might as well defeat it, right? <laughs> Or do we do it all at once? <laughs> oh, that is the thing we have to do. <laughs> I was like, oh, we might as well, we might as well do this, you know? We might, we might as well try it out. The thing that we have to do. <laughs> so this guy's uh, fun to defeat. You basically like what I do with these guys is I do this like this, then switch back to Amber. And then you let them get sired a bit. You know what I mean? It's perfect. It's actually like a really great mission, right? And then let them get sired. You know, the, the big sired moment. And get 10 prior gems. Okay, we'll do all the, we're gonna do the main quests all in one go, by the way. We're not gonna switch between quests. In fact, that's something you guys were like, hey, don't do that. So we're, we're, we're taking the advice, you know what I mean? So this is the other mission we have to do, I think, for that little boy. So we might as well travel to here, and then fly out, if we can. And for Amber, we fly out. Uh, this way here. I'll race you there! No, I won't race you there, no. A few carrots for myself, you know what I mean? Or there's a trial over here that I didn't see before. That's weird that I didn't see this trial. Or maybe I have seen it and I did it. And maybe maybe trials respawn as well. That could be the case. 
Oh, hello, guys. Um, <laughs> hi. Uh, did you just hit some? Did you legit just hit some? Quick! Now look what look what happened because he had Sayu. Like this could have been resolved peacefully. I was just as you trying to get some food. Now look what happened. Can you imagine? Kuju, what do you think about this? What happens if I do this? Am I right? Yeah. Doesn't make much sense, does it? Me just trying to help. And you guys come along and do that. Hello, fire boys. How are you doing? So it should feed who? <laughs> feed all the... Oh, okay. Fair enough. Overload them a bit. Honestly, like... Like, I think I would be faster with this because of how bad I am aiming. Challenge completed. Well done, Calvin. Oh, these guys? <laughs> I was like... Oh, I was like, okay. Yeah, they're not amino and amino slimes. That's the thing. Okay, let's keep heading out towards the area here. Look, and this is why I love doing these commissions. I find stuff that I missed before, you know? And an apple. Where are we going? Oh, right, right here. Thank you. I forget that Sayu is not the main character. Is this an answer from the Yeah, I keep forgetting. Um Whereabouts is it? Over here? It's right directly across from there. Amber, are you ready? Are you ready to go to the island over there? What do you think? You ready? Probably should have raised a bit more stamina, but hey look. This is not gonna work. Honestly, hold on a second. Oh, I can't even do co-op mode because I have, don't have PS Plus. On this account. I don't have PS Plus. I don't have PS Plus on my other account either. Um, for me, like, it, it, I just didn't see the benefit right now at all. Sorry, we'll be doing... I don't want to do PS Plus. I don't want to do co-op mode. Because I love playing by myself. I love it. Like, I, I genuinely, like, love going through worlds like this by myself, you know? Um, I love single-player games. What are we looking at here? Oh, yeah, if we go to the tippy-top of this, we'll have a way better chance of getting to the main objective than the other way around. And then we can go on and do, like, um, um, some story quests. And some world quests. We're gonna get so many quests done today. We're gonna get so many quests done today, I, I guarantee you. You're actually gonna be like, oh my god, Calvin, how'd you get all those quests done? I'm gonna be like, I don't even know. It's probably just magic or something, you know? It's probably not even... Probably not even illegal. Did I even pick up the pie? I did, okay. It's probably not even legal. Race who there, Amber? Amber's sweet. She's a sweet character. Um... If we are somehow able to get uh, Shang Ling as a character, which I think we will be able to at some point, What's over this way? <laughs> it's on that island over there, isn't it? Yeah. Music is beautiful here too. Like, again, I would love to get Shangling as a character. I really would. Um, but I'm not, you know, I'm not holding my breath. I'm going to enjoy the game as is for now. Um, let's not use any of this because I'm worried that it'll make it go faster or our, our energy go down faster. <laughs> we have to fast travel, fast travel.
We might die. We might. Or she has long enough legs. Yeah, she does. I knew she had long enough legs. So we have to use this character on it. Is this electricity? No? What is this? Quiver. Huh? What if you use fire on it? I have no idea what this is. We still have the other quest though, don't we? Like, this is it. Oh, we have to do multiple of these? Is that it? What? And use an animo to blow out the dust. Do we have animo? I think we have animo. Who are our characters? Wait. Yeah, we do. I'm an idiot. To get all the signs in 20 seconds. Very well. Get sired. Okay, I, I'm an idiot. I forgot, I forgot that's wind damage. <laughs> I'm about to pass out over I, I, I literally forgot that was what wind damage is called in this game. You know what I mean? I'm trying to go up in the air, but it's not letting me. So this guy is like considered dangerous because he has a skull on him. That was awesome. The like little kick. I forgot that she has like that little kick. Actually, pretty cool. Like really cool. Um attacks from uh, Sayu. Like after you hit and you go Whoa. Very cool. And we might as well now go back to here to collect our commissions before we do anything else. And then we can do like a story quest or like, a, you know, we'll do a lot of quests today. We'll do a lot of quests today. This is really fun. I love doing the daily commissions. I love having these characters. I think this team is actually very good as well. Like for what I have right now at least. Especially early on in the game, before we get more characters, you know. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Hi, Catherine. Um, I'd like to claim Thank my... Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. What do we get? We also went up in Adventure Rank. Ooh. Actually very good stuff. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Can I claim Adventure Rank <laughs> rewards as well, please? So we have... Fragile resin, which is cool. Okay, we also got to level 16. Nice. Level 17, we eventually get another fate thing. Um, and then I'd like to do something else, Catherine, if that's okay. Uh, dispatch a character on this expedition. These expeditions are complete. Claim all. Okay, we got some cool stuff. Um, so the Whispering Woods. Oh, so they're going again. Yeah, you can go. You guys can go again. Oh, we, we should do all of them then. Can, can we do it? I think we can send up more than... Okay, hold on a second. I'm on side. We can't. Okay, two at a time. That's fine. Perfect. Okay, so in terms of quests, the first quest I want to do is a world quest. So it's heard that Monsad's alchemy users team is trying to popularize the art. So let's go and activate this one. What'd she say? Miss Maisky? Really cool. I love this place so much, and it's because I don't play. I like I play this game on Saturday, and then I won't play it again till Wednesday. Like when I come back into it, it's so fresh again, and it's so beautiful. Hi, Timaeus. Greetings. I am Timaeus. Timaeus. <laughs> Welcome to Monster. Thank you. Alchemy is a craft 
that has been passed down since ancient times, but it is barely understood in the present. Its mechanisms are magical and mysterious, completely unlike the principles that shape our understanding of the physical world. If we can get the hang of this, we should be able to create some pretty awesome stuff. This must be your alchemist's workbench. So we haven't done this yet, That's have we not? Right. Why not give it a go yourself? I'm afraid I'll blow something up, buddy. You'll be fine. The procedure's actually very simple. If you're interested, I could show you the basics. Sure I can. Why, why not? So, character weapon uh, character weapon enhancement material. Uh, and there's wonder. So, press to view the converse function. Use three heavy horn to craft one black bronze horn. Okay. And then we have a new item. Oh, because this actually might help us a lot with creating items for upgrading stuff as well. Um... I mean, why not? And you can do other ones as well. Oh, like these. Shimmering. We need these, right? Yeah, I think we actually need these. Can we make another one? Cool. Okay. And then we have... These things as well. And like a bunch of different... Okay, okay, cool, cool. That's really cool. Thank you so much. All we are really doing is following the methods of the ancients as best we can. Much as one who uses a wind glider needs not understand how it was built in order to glide. True. The difference with alchemy is that every time I think I finally understand how it's supposed to work, something totally unexpected happens. This is funny. I'll use. I'll say this one, even though I like Paimon. Hey, you shall have no other Paimon before this Paimon. He stares directly at Timaeus. <laughs> Unfortunately, my skills are not that advanced. He's like, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> to me, <let's> do it. <laughs> There's a lot of other mysterious recipes I have to research first. Over the course of your adventures, you should come across some alchemist notes from ancient civilizations. Great. So that's how we're going to get more... And as your adventure rank increases, more recipes will become available to you. Um, the next time you hear me, I'll be a Paimon conjuring alchemist. Yeah, let's say this. This is funny. Why are you so obsessed with other Paimons? Do I no longer satisfy your primordial needs? No, I feel bad now. I'm sorry. You're great. <laughs> you two are a fascinating pair, I must say. Well, see you next time. May the wind bring you good fortune on your path ahead. Cool. So that's another quest completed, and we got some new materials as well. Like the Shimmering Nectar, which means we can go into our character screen first of all. And where was that that I was looking at it? What was what was I looking at? Constellation, wasn't it? And we can oh no, that's not what we had. Maybe maybe we use them to activate that. Who knows? I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. And now you will, s Sarah. I'm sorry. Wait, Sarah. I am. I'm Sarah. Hello, dog. How are you? How's it going? Marjorie. Uh, Miles. Uh, okay. Uh, next thing, we're, we have a bunch of different quests we can do. We're not going here just yet. We're not going to loot just yet. We're going to stay here and just do a bunch of stuff, first of all. So I think that's the story quest. Ah. That's definitely... Um, the story quest we're doing is troublesome work. And this is Librarian Lisa seems annoyed at work, and I am so happy. And there's another quest here as well. Hold on a second. Look at this. There's another quest right over here. Look at that. Who's the quest right over here? Huh? Who has a quest right over here? Right in the, right in my face. Forget. What is this? He's starting to lost by a curious seal. I wonder whose place this is. Hmm. Music. Music. Oh, it's this guy. Hi, Cyrus, buddy. Uh, this is bad. This is really bad. What's wrong? Oh, you're the traveler. You must have seen the storm that hit us too. All of us monsters are all of us monsters are uh, a mess right now. All of monsters is a mess right now. Cyrus said we need to stop monsters from taking some huge attacks, so we put all uh, all commissions for adventures to scout their moment uh, movements out. My next commission was to observe the monsters around Thousand Winds Temple, so I confirmed my task and, and left. 
At the temple, I saw a large group of monsters gathering together. I tried to get a closer look, but I didn't expect to be discovered almost immediately upon getting closer. If a passing adventure hadn't come to my rescue, I wouldn't have made it. We left the Thousand Winds Temple for fear of being attacked by more monsters and came back to Mondstadt. And when that's when I realized that I I left my adventure's handbook and map at the temple. But there's no way I can get to, ba get to, get to go back to it like this. Traveler, would you be willing to help me to go to the Thousand Winds Temple to retrieve the map and adventure's handbook? Sure. Thank you so much. <sighs> Honestly, it's it's a bit embarrassing. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Like we don't we all fail sometimes. We're not all perfect. Nobody's perfect. You get and you work it again and again and again. Um Actually we can go this way and on our way we can actually do that little quest as well. Which is cool. Wait. Oh, you can zoom out the camera even more if you want. Cool, okay, I think this is like perfect. This one here is perfect. That's a, that's a really good accessibility option as well, by the way. Um, oh, you're back alive? I just killed you guys. We are the immortals, immortal level ones. Bet you are. Bet you are. I need a, we need to activate, by the way, we need to activate this as well. So I'm going directly towards this as well. We need to activate this as well, because I think it's like the one missing link in our little fast travel thing. Fast travel is always interesting to me because like it, there's always like a weird like, you know, you know I played Dragon's Dogma when I, are you serious? Oh, you poor boys. I played Dragon's Dogma uh, back in 2013 for the first time. Then I played it again in 2018. Then I played it again like two years ago. And one of the things that's really cool about that game is that especially in your first playthrough, fast travel is almost non-existent. And like, no one while, you know, to some people, that actually sounds freaking awful. And like, to some people, that sounds like, why would you ever play a game where you travel across this gigantic open world without fast travel? Fast travel is a thing in those games. Uh, it's just, it's not the same as like other games. You have to pay for fast travel with in-game currency, and it gets more expensive every time you buy one. So if you buy those, they're called keystones, I think. And when you buy a keystone, um, you have to like re... You have to like buy another one the next time and it gets more expensive. Like say the first three are like 10,000 each. Then the seller who's selling things goes, oh my God, like people like these? Okay. People like these? Hold on a second here. What is this? Get over here for a second. All of you get over here for a second. I want to show you something. Look, what is this? <laughs> um. Oh wait, come here for a second. Actually, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Everyone come here, everyone come here, everyone come here, everyone come here. Come here. Watch this. No turning back. Can I ask you what you thought of that? A worthy adversary. <laughs> A worthy adversary. Are you just getting my arse kicked? No one come in here. This is electric. It's electricity in here. Don't come in here. Okay, they're actually not coming in here. Very smart. Very smart. What if they all did come in here? To dust. Crystallize as well. We probably should get rid of uh, Mage Boy first, actually. So get Zayud. Then worry about the shield next. Pinewood. Let's swirl him out as well. Why not? Look what happened here now. And now. Just like my mama said, get shy uh -huh. Oh no, I got bulldozed. The music is so good here, what the hell? <laughs> hey boys. Oh no, it's Shayu. Yeah, it's Sayu. Crazy how the world works, huh? One day you're on top of the world, traveling around annoying people. Next, you're getting sayu Sad, really. Gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Touch the blossom. Yes. And we get some rewards for this too, don't we? So yeah, so, so worth it. So worth that. Completely. There's a chest over here? Oh, no, that was the kind of chest we were obtaining. Okay, and then there's a guy over here too. Hello, it's I, Get Sayud. 
No, I'm, I'm helpful. Get Sayud coming after you. No, 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 please, please, please. I'm helping you. Are oh, you gonna get Sayud? I can't Sayud this guy, guys. It's my, my problem. My fault. I keep forgetting Sayud is not the main character. <laughs> this is an issue, isn't it? You're traveling way too far, buddy. Pick a place and lie down. Where are you? Where are you taking me to the Nether region of the Nether world? Like, where are we going? Where are we going? Are you taking me to a different game? We're going to Elden Ring. What's like? What's happening? We're going to freaking Hawaii. Like, what? 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 Like, gee, you, you were taking me all over the place. I mean, thank you. But I'll Jesus. Keep this close. So we have more creatures that we can fight. Uh, Amber style, first of all. There we go with that. Um, Jesus Christ, guys, calm down. You might get overloaded. There's no way we're gonna get Sayo today, boys. Oh no, we got Sayo! Oh, hit the mic. I was just, I was excited for Sayo. I was really happy for her achievements. But who's next? Who's coming out next? No big boys? Okay, I got something for you. Sayu, mainstay character, am I right? Can't catch me. Into a kick as well, like. Yeah, and it shows you. I think they, someone said that shows you a better look at all the items around here. Where's the, where'd the, the blossoming flower go over here? Meet my ski. Meet my, meet my ski. Okay, we're gonna go head towards there. Actually, there's another one right over here. We can do both. We can do both. Um, oh, we could have gone from here to here. But I genuinely wanted to do this as well, though. Like, let's be honest. Let's be honest here. Abort mission. We have failed. I will also say, if people don't like the pacing of this playthrough, it's probably not going to be the playthrough for you because, like, I can't, in my mind and in all good consciousness, I could never, like, go, I want to stop exploring and, like, and, like, go straight to the main quest. It's just not in me, unfortunately. It's beautiful. This game is, like, actually. Oh, God, people? I didn't think I'd be fighting people. This is better. You all got Shayud. Imagine just like we're, we're mighty warriors, <laughs> and then like this is what happens to you when you come into into the, into the world. You're like, where did the word mighty bend? <laughs> we can we can win. You're open. Oh my God! Your friends got Sayud. Another test subject. Another test subject. What do you want? What do you think it is? I invented that. It's called the the Whirly Girl. And this is called the the Swirly Swirl. Both your big boys are gone. Think about this now, red hair. Think about this. I'll, I'll actually give you two a few seconds. Think about it. Get Sayud. Okay. You know what? Watch this. We'll use another character. I'll show you what I can do. Look at that. Get Sarad. It's hard because Sai is such a freaking good character. She's fantastic. Like, like actually really great, right? Meet Maisky. Meet Maisky as well, you know? Meet Maisky. Okay, I think that we're gonna go here and collect these items here. We be, we'll be forever going around doing all this stuff. When we collected a bunch of stuff, we can do it later if we have time at the end, you know what I mean? So I think what we do is we go to here.
and then travel up through there. Oh, look at this. We're high up. And thus the lands were empty once again. No one wanted to travel these lands, at fear of Sayu hitting them in the face with a gigantic club. Sayu was sad. She was tired, mostly. Lazy, maybe. But she missed hitting things in the face. Ah! Oh my god, I've never- that's a new record for the- for the Sayu, right? Like someone going into the ground and then coming back out again and their hit still happening. <laughs> Imagine you like, you like avoid a hit, you go underground with your special ability, you're like, yeah! And you come back up and it's- the move is still happening. <laughs> but it's moved closer to you. <laughs> That'd be terrifying. So we've already done this temple with, um... Uh, with Kaya, wasn't it? Yeah, with Kaya. Or with Amber. I think it might have been Kaya. I know, I think the other one might have been Lisa. It wasn't it? Yeah, so. Okay, let's get our breath in and then climb up it. You're on fire. Like, literally on fire. So you. So we're probably gonna have to defeat some enemies. Yeah, there's want someone over here. Um. Overload fusion, am I right? That's awesome. She like picked up the item as after right after she kicked him right in the face. You know what I mean? That was sick. That was sick. And the second item is gonna be up this way. We don't need to fight absolutely everything, and I've learned that. We don't need to fight absolutely, absolutely everything, you know what I mean? Oh god, maybe we do. <laughs> right in the face. How about I just give you a a really terrible injury? We, bear, we, we haven't used you in a while, actually. We don't use your, our main character, even though he actually has, like, people were telling me the sword I have on him is actually very good. Which I'm very happy to have. Why would you walk into my move like that? Welcome to my trick, is what I say. And if I can use this as a shield while I beat up this guy. This is gonna be this Desayu degeneracy. This guy can. Oh, yeah, go on, come, come over here, buddy. I don't think it matters who's on my team as long as Sayu is here. Okay, so where's the item? It's over here. Who's shooting? Oh, you guys! We're all friends. No items here? Can I see any items? I don't see any items. Guys, we're literally all friends. And <laughs> you're too, we're all friends. Meet my ski. Meet my ski. Oh my god, hold on a second. Hold on a second, I have an idea. I have an idea. Yeah! Oh god. <laughs> my idea was that she just killed that guy. <laughs> that was my idea. Wait, there's another question mark on the map then, over here. Is that just where we have to go? Is that is that our boy? That could be it. Report back to... Yeah, I think that's it.
Got him right here. Ooh, that was a relief. I've always been using this map, so I've put down a lot of markings onto it. Losing it would be a disaster. And if I had really lost my handbag, I don't know how I would have asked Catherine for a new one. I mean, what a joke for an adventurer to lose her handbook during an adventure. Do you even have, like, a Sayu on your adventuring team? I don't think so. Thanks, I'll keep these things close from now on. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. What do we get? Oh, cool, I'll take that. Some fried eggs as well, which bring you back to life. Actually, very useful. You know what I mean? Actually, extremely useful. Thank you so much. Where's the staircase? Actually, very useful here. Hi, Glory. Remember when all you guys told her to get a job in the comment section of the first video? <laughs> that was crazy. You guys are crazy. You guys are amazing. <laughs> crazy, I'd say, though. Wait. Hi, Luke. I saw someone who looked like you today as I was going in the pub. I saw someone. Yeah. He smelled like pig's feet too. Yeah, he's crying. He's not He's not happy about that. Not happy about that at all. Should have thought that before he was rude to me one time in my life. And never again. <laughs> hey, Portos. <laughs> I'm having too good of a time in this game. I love it. Oh, hey, Ryan. Fox and the dandelions. Oh, so this is where you get more stories. Let's go. It's an actual... We've never been here before. Take this. The boar and the, pr the boar princess. I'll sit down as well just to show everyone that I am not here just to steal it's Fox and the Hound, like the, the Disney story? Is that Disney or is it Fox? I think it's Fox, is it? No, it's Disney, isn't it? I'm... Ela Musk? Oh, hello, Ella. Okay. Yik uh, Eskoshimoisi. Goodbye. Mm, oh, sorry, I was off my own world. That was Hill Truff, hello. H have you eaten? Why does it sound so hostile? Why is this the subject of your research? Don't you think the hilly are very interesting life forms? It's pretty that so few people think the same way as I do. At best, you could say that it's just Miss Sucrose who does. But our mythologies differ. What I'm studying is li living hilly trails, while she seems more interested in their bones. Okay, cool. I mean, like, yeah, like, I think just, you know, understanding the enemy, understanding what you're fighting is, like, such an important thing as well, right? I can't, oh my god, I'm not, do, we, do we just come back here all the time and like collect stories all the time? Is that what we're going to keep doing? Because like, this is funny. She's saying all the stuff that you can hear, like... Okay, what's your little quest you have for me, uh, Lisa? There's a viewpoint. Cool viewpoint as well, isn't it? <sighs> if you're borrowing a book, please register it in the log. The restricted section is currently not lending any books. I don't borrow books. I take them as I walk by. Really cool, like, stockings, by the way. Like, tights, I guess they're called? Stockings? Oh, it's you, little cutie. Hmm. <laughs> this game is too fun. It's so good, and the characters are great. It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. Heck yeah. Clearly you're meant to be working, but you don't seem to have your heart in it at all. We literally have a team with Sayu on it. I mean, other than Jean, who really works that earnestly anyway? I do feel sorry for Jean always working so hard, so for sure. Did you have something you and she's doing side projects as well, you know? Or did you just come to see me? Just wanted to see you, Lisa. Ooh, a smooth talker. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. <laughs> so, Miss Librarian, got any books to recommend? Hmm. Recommended books. Sadly, everything I'd personally recommend is all in the restricted section, which we're not currently lending out. What's with your ominous tone? 
Oh, great. Would you be interested in checking out the Devat travel guide? I think it would be quite helpful for you as travelers here. Ooh, sounds like it could be helpful. Do you think we could take a peek? <sighs> I suppose I can try to find you a copy from the list. Isn't this Lisa's job? What does she mean, I suppose? I mean, even though it's her job, it's still, you know, hard work. You know? Oh dear. That's unfortunate. Our copy is currently being borrowed. That said, it is now overdue. Come to think of it, quite a few of our books are now overdue. <sighs> I really wish people would just return their books... ...on time. Whoa, is Paimon imagining things? Or does the air in here suddenly feel a lot more... ...electrified? I mean, she's definitely has passions, which I think is really good when you have, like, a character that doesn't seem very passionate about anything, but then, like, you know, they get angry over, like, you know, the stuff they love, you know? You learn a lot more about them that way. <sighs> Such a pain. I'm going out to bring those unreturned books back. Oh, wow. <laughs> if you'd rather get your hands on that copy of the Tavat Travel Guide sooner, you'd better come with me. Uh, Lisa seems really scary right now. Paimon thinks it would be best if you answer her. Yeah, we'll do it, yeah. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> you really are such a considerate cutie. Let's see. First, we can go to the souvenir shop. It's called With Wind Comes Glory. So let's meet there shortly. So like, yeah, this is really cool Um, in terms of character progression. Like, I love the fact that we have a character in our group or a character that we know that we like really like like. Uh, already, but like we can kind of see, you know, you see the one dimension of them, you know, and here now We have A two-dimensional aspect of them or like a yeah, like a more a 3d or even like three-dimensional aspect of them, you know The fact that they do have passion, but it's a passion about something they love So we do have a lot of books now the one I want to read for sure That's not this it's what Is this isn't it? No. The one I want to read is, it's in here, yeah. Let's look at our achievements first, though. Claim some stuff. We're slowly getting more prior gems. That's the whole point. Can I not just claim all? You know, I just want to claim everything, you know? Might be more fun that way. Um, Where's the archive? Here it is. Yeah, if we go into the archive... I'm going to books. The book I want to read, and we'll probably read at some point today. Um, what's this? Oh, this actually might be fun. The Hilly Churl. Yeah, we'll read. We'll read a bit of this, maybe. The Legend of Vanessa. We don't have the, all the volume. Volume two already. Um, where is it? the Battle of the Squire? Is pretty cool. Heart of the Springs. Drunkard's Tale. We have a new part of this, which actually we wanted a part of this. Right? Did we read for part two? I think we did, didn't we? Read part two. Or no, we just read part one. Yeah, so we have part two and now we have volume three. I think we have volume four as well. So we might finish off the drunkard sale today. That'll be cool. In the right Ella? Hex in the Hound. I thought I said Fox in the Hound. It's Fox in the Dandelion, not Hex. Oh god. <laughs> Okay, so, now we travel down to here. I don't know, I feel like it's very clear I, I was hovering over the teleport waypoint. Wow, what stinks around here? Oh, it's you guys. She's like, give that book back, and she started ripping her head, <laughs> grabbing out her hair. Come here, give the book back. Cutie, you're here. Marjorie's Let's nice though, begin, don't be too bad. We? Marjorie, regarding the book that you Come borrowed. Hello, Marjorie. Any exciting new items in stock? Why so surprised? Today is such a special day. It's only natural that I'd want a souvenir to remember it by. What about the overdue Since library book? Came all this way, why don't we put our official business to one side for a moment? All work and no play makes life terribly mundane. I suppose. 
<laughs> well, if it's a souvenir you're after, you're in the right place. I'm sure you'll find something that strikes your fancy, Lisa. Or you could let your new friend pick something out for you. Make it more of an occasion. Is this the plan? Yes, yes, let us pick. I don't Take know. Take a look around. There's sure to be something she'll love. Choose a gift for Lisa. Bloomers, ragged old scroll, maybe later. Bloomers or ragged old scroll? What's the question mark? Ragged old scroll? What even like is like I know what bloomers are. You know what I mean? I know what that is. Ragged old scroll, she might actually like this. Cause she likes books. This is a historical relic retrieved from some ruins by one of the adventurers guild. Sure there's a bit of wear and tear. But this thing in the painting must be well over a thousand years old. Though it doesn't make much sense to me. Doesn't have to. My goodness. This is one of the three lost scrolls that make up the northern border wind investigation. What are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Yes. My, my. You clearly know a treasure when you see it. This is a work of unparalleled significance for the research of ancient people's understanding of the elements. I will gladly accept it. Yeah, she's very flirtatious. She's very, like, kind of, like, doughy-eyed and kind of, like, you know, some might say, like, lazy and casual. But then you see, like, how smart she is behind all of this. Like, it's she's so intelligent and such has, like, an encyclopedic knowledge Goodness, is of this stuff. Goodness, is that the time? <sighs> Marjorie, one last thing. About the legend of Vanessa. Oh, so you're a fan of the gallant lady Vanessa too? Why didn't you say so? No, it's the I book. All sorts of items it's the I book, recommend. Marjorie. Put your hands For up. For example, this well, Marjorie's actually very nice. With Vanessa's name carved into it. It was once a medal awarded to a knight by the great lady herself. Hmm. Hands up, Marjorie. Oh my goodness. The library book I you do apologize. Borrowed. I got so excited when you mentioned Vanessa. Hands up. I didn't know that book was overdue, even though I take it with me everywhere. Hmm. Oh, really? Then what's that? We see the book is like... Um... In her boyfriend's hands. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together as soon as I saw you here. <laughs> here you go. Well, since you look up to Lady Vanessa so very much, please be more punctual next time. Yes, Lisa. I will be, Lisa. Let's go and find the next overdue book. Let's do it. I think this is a ploy, though. I think she just wants to have a nice time and do the same time. I think she's just being very smart about it as well, to be honest. Like, like we're doing killing two birds once. Oh, no, this girl's really nice. Do not be mean. Look, we, look we'll, we'll be really nice to her. Well, she hasn't been mean so far, her. in fairness. Table for two? Three, please. Me. Paimon. And Lisa. There you go. Oh, <laughs> my apologies. Please sit wherever you like and call me over once you're ready to order. So we're going to eat first and bring up the book situation later? Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? Work is that bad, huh? 100%. Any stress really doesn't make uh, eating food nice. Oh, we have to actually sit down? This is the first time we get to stand for an actual quest. Okay, uh, if I sit here, it seems like we're buddies. If I sit here, it seems like we're, like, you know, staring into each other's eyes. Um, but also, then, if I sit here, then it's sending a message that, like, I know that this, like, we're trying to, like, you know, that she, like, I think that she's doing that, which I don't think she is. I think she just wants to have a fun time with us. So I think I'll sit here, because I don't, I, you know what I mean? Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious to know what your tastes are. Same. Steak, northern smoked chicken. Northern this smoked chicken. This seems like the sort of staple bar food you'd find at the tavern. It has an extremely strong flavor, so drinkers love it because they can actually taste it. Wow. Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. No. <sighs> Why don't you... 
I'd like some steak. Good hunter's please. signature dish. If it's what you want, I'll try anything once. You sure? Can't change. Yes. Hmm. Finished ordering. Sit here. Let's dine together. Do you like steak? I'm. I'm. I prefer chicken, but. Oh, we have. I. I, I was. I wasn't supposed to sit down yet. You. Hey, Yuri. How are you? What are you doing here, Yuri? Hello, you looking for anything in particular? No, I'm not, but thank you. Um, what have you bought? Just now, a beautiful gemstone ring caught my attention. I accidentally picked it up and it was a huge mistake. I should have known the price tag was something I can't afford. It's okay, don't worry about it. Thank you, Yuri. Hope you had a good day. Mmm, beautifully tender and cooked to perfection. No wonder it's their signature dish. It's a shame I can't have more, but a witch must watch her physique. Steak is actually good for you, especially in small doses, you know what I mean? Yuri, why are you- Yuri. <laughs> We're eating, Yuri, please. Time is getting on. I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. Sure. Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. Yeah, but before Yuri gets to the counter, because Yuri will actually stop us. She's very powerful. Would you like to order something else? Yeah, justice for the library. No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we took that off the menu. Shame. Shame. Just one more thing, though. Heard of any books lately? Oh, wow. Lighting. Very nice. <laughs> she means the book you borrowed. Yeah, the book you borrowed. Oh, of course. I came straight to the restaurant after I borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I will bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. <clears throat> okay, then. But make sure you don't forget this time. Right. On to our next stop, then, cutie. Nice. Okay. Um... So the next area is just behind here. This is a really, like, fun little quest to get to know Lisa, isn't it? She's actually, like, a very, uh, sweet person. Who is this? Donna. Donna, where's the book? This is our final call for the day. Welcome. Uh, couples are our specialty. Let me know what you'd like and I'll wrap them up nicely for you. Ah, uh, yes. Now, which book was it that has the line, A date without flowers is a date without romance? Would you by any chance care for some flowers, my lady? <laughs> Why, it just so happens that I would, my kindest cutie. Now, I still don't know if this is a date because I think this is just like a little thing to get to know Lisa. But it is kind of sweet, you know? Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? Mist flower da- Why would you Mist give da- Mist flowers? Over there in the corner. But don't oh. touch them with your bare hands. You'll get frostbite. I think she might like them. You want them? You're sure? It's just that Lisa seems to use Electro quite a- You sure? Can't change- Okay, no, then I'll pick the dandelions. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? I don't want her to get hooked. Dandelions are one of our classics. And a personal favorite of Miss Flora, the shop owner. I know what you're thinking. Most flower shops don't sell dandelions. They are a nuisance to care for. Perhaps Miss Flora likes the sense of floating away to a faraway land that the dandelion evokes. Come to think of it, Miss Flora herself gives people the same impression. You sure? Can't change- Yeah, we'll pick the dandelion, sure. Dandelions? They actually sell dandelions? They have a refreshing scent, similar to the one Jean wears. Thank you. You love Jean? Okay, time to get back to business. Donna, do you know why we're here? Back to business? My business is selling flowers. <laughs> How convenient. Because we are in the business of getting books back for the library. And we don't want to have to make this go south, Donna. <sighs> Once again, we see a total lack of respect for literature. Isn't that crazy, Lisa? A total lack of respect. The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies. Ring a bell? Are we going to have to ring your bell? Oh, uh, yes. Well... She, she's not, she's, no, we're not going to do anything. We're not going to do anything. I'm just doing a bit. Oh no, 
what am I gonna do? Girl, what happened? Tell us what happened, we can I, help. I lost the book. Oh, no. <sighs> Lisa's gonna be so upset. A while back, I realized it was almost due, and I was getting ready to bring it back to the library. But I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for days. Where did you leave it? Nothing. Like, where did you last see it? It's like somebody stole it. It should have been there on my bedside table, right where I left it. Uh-oh. That Lisa does some crazy things when she gets mad. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get her. Well, get her, Lisa. if it really was stolen, Donna's done nothing wrong. The blame lies with the book thief. I think it's rather cool that we have this story with Lisa because what we're seeing here is that, yeah, she's very passionate about books and getting those books back. But the coolest thing about this conversation with Lisa is that in every single sense, I'm thinking she's going to blow up on people. The first thing I thought she was going to do is blow up on people, but she's not, you know, because she seems like that type, but she's actually a very sweet person, you know? And their punishment will be three, no, ten times worse than stealing my book. You're going to steal her books. You're going to steal ten of their books. Like Paimon said, totally This is a pretty good composition here as well. Like the colors are beautiful. How do we find the lost book, oh, though? Don't worry about that. As long as I remain librarian, not a single book will go missing for good. I put a unique elemental marker on each book. Our thief will have left a nice set of clues for awesome. us to follow. Awesome. When did Lisa start taking her job so seriously? Paimon I think that's the point of the story. We're getting to know Lisa so much better now. Hey, sweetie. I've heard your elemental sensitivity is very strong. Why not see what you can do? Sure. Elemental sensitivity? Oh, Paimon's got it. Use your elemental sight to look for clues. So, we navigate this and we go like this, actually. And there it is. There's the first clue. Looking I wonder what could you got that without traces, the sight. It does seem likely that the book was stolen. Okay. So Donna didn't do anything wrong after all. It's not from the restricted section, so it's hardly a book worth stealing. Whoever wanted this book so badly had a strange fixation indeed. Hmm. So what do we do now? The elemental traces are very faint, but I can tell that the thief took it beyond the city walls. You must see it too, right, cutie? My name's Wander. <laughs> Let's follow the trail and have a look where our thief was headed, shall we? Sure. Kind of wish I called him the canon name now, to be honest, for a little bit, but like I love... Like the name Wander means a lot to me. It's very special to me. So giving that to a character is like, to me, like it's a stamp of approval. Um, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to just do this. over there. The elemental traces are strong here, but it seems our thief did not stay for long. The trail keeps going. Hi, Lynn. Let's keep looking. We're doing the Attack on Titan thing here. So this is a story quest. I wonder if it's going to end up being um, like a temple or something. You know what I mean? Because usually like the story quests end up being like a temple, right? Could be wrong. We'll see what happens. I love this nighttime theme. Super, super good. Um, like, and to, to everyone who's like, you know, like who's watching this, I want to say something. Like, this legit, so far, is one of my favorite games I've ever played in my life. And, like, it's impressive how much fun it is and how much content that I've gotten out of this. And I've spent no money. I haven't spent a cent. But, I've gotten so much out of it. Um, I understand it is a game where you can buy stuff and all this stuff. You know, it's, 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 it's fair enough. Hmm. Let's investigate. It's further than I thought. Quite the intrepid explorer, our little That's thief. Good. We don't have to fight these. We do. We Maybe do not have to fight these guys. You know what I mean? Show. Like fighting these guys would be the biggest waste of time we've ever done. 
and I'm, I'm not just saying that, like, I really do mean it because, and again, it's a combination of, like, a lot of stuff I really, really love about games. There's a really good combat system, there's really cool characters, great design, the art style is fantastic. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, the music is really good. They, they give you, like, a lot of stuff to do, like, a lot of characters to, to meet and interact with. Uh, you could spend your time, and I could spend my time just walking around that town just all day, just, like, talking to people and, like, having conversations and doing little activities and jumping off walls and swimming through, uh, like, little uh, ravines and stuff like that. I really do think that they've done a really good job with this. Um, and the reason I think it's, like, one of my favorite games I've ever played um, is just because I have that feeling of, like, when I'm not playing it, I want to play it. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's so important uh, to any game. It must be nearby. Using elemental sight, you can even detect magic. Follow the flow of magic to find the book. So we can follow the flow of magic. First of all, get sired. What, what, like, hold on a second. Follow the flow of magic? What, what does that mean? Oh, here. Wait, oh, it's, it's going up this way? Here. Okay. There's a temple up there, I think, is there? Yeah, this way? There it is. Inside ruins? Mondstadt people do have some strange quirks. Yeah, they like books Please and stealing. Please do not jump to such a preposterous conclusion about the living habits of Mondstadt's residents. This seems far more likely to be the work of some none too friendly troublemakers. Abyss Order? Sounds like you can read my mind. This is more likely to be the Abyss Order's doing. They do seem to have a way of slipping in and out of places like ghosts, after all. Also, there's an elemental seal at the entrance. It looks like the result of an abyss mage's magic. A seal? How are we gonna break it? Is this gonna turn into another huge ordeal? <laughs> Not to worry. If you think a little magic can keep me out, think again. Why is that? Come on. Whoa. So this is what Lisa's like when she's hard at work. I mean, yeah, like we've seen, she's, she's actually like, again, and, and it's the point of the story for sure is to show us exactly how strong she is. Possible rewards, actually some good rewards. Um, level 19. We do not have a level 19. We do, we do. Okay. Um, for now, we'll go with this party. I mean, we could, I feel like this, this will get us past anything. This party here. Um... Yeah. I feel like this party is good for now, especially like with level 19. And we have Lisa as well. So, so actually it might have been a good idea maybe to like switch to use uh, instead of Ka really Sarah. Have to go all the way inside? If you borrow a okay. book, you have to return We're going to leave the, okay, we'll be smart about this, right? Like I feel like it's, 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 eh. Peekaboo. Um, we'll be smart about this. Like, we might as well have as much elemental abilities as we, as we need going into this area. If we already have a, an extra character. So I think using... Ready when you are. Kyle would be great for this. Like, just, there's no point being silly about this, you know what I mean? It's so much bigger in here than Paimon thought. Uh, do we really have to go all the way inside? If you borrow a book, you have to return it. There will be no exceptions. Yeah. I mean, she's, she's right. Like, the whole system breaks down if you don't return your books, guys. You know what I mean? And libraries are, like, very, very great. They're, 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 maybe they're not great resources anymore because, like, nearly every book is even online. You can, like, even get, like... Like, you can even get books online that were, like... Um... How do I say it? Like, books now, like, even, like, books that are, like, famous books, you can look up, like, 
this book free online and sometimes you can even get a free version of it. It's crazy how things have changed. Did I do that with the thing or that already was already bumped? Let's go backwards into this. This is really cool. It's fun to be Kaya again as well though, because I think I think that's the whole point though, is like switching between characters is, is actually really fun sometimes, you know? Um, I like using Kai. I think Kai is like actually more fun to use than Amber. I think Kai is more fun to use than Sayu to uh, Sa 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 Sarah as well. I do. I do think he's more fun. Um, it's just that I tried to do a very good like the combination I have right now. I'm actually kind of enjoying, but I think we could you know maybe try ice with um, fire sometimes too. Like this this could be a good party too. So this is a uh, a you thing. Yep. Yep. And I'm I'm constantly just like trying to find like the perfect combination. We'll be do, I mean, we do like we're gonna be playing this game so much that I really feel like it, it's kind of silly to just you know to like think that this is the only thing we're gonna be doing. The only thing that's for sure in this game is Sayu. You know that's it. Yep. Everything else in this game is not a for sure thing. Who wants to die? You guys, okay. You're in for Fair a enough. little shock. Fair enough, honestly. Oh, sorry. Where are we going? Oh, here? Is that right? No, here. Um, I'd be silly to just expect myself to get, like, to, to do fantastic, you know, in, in each level and, like, expect to just, like, have a perfect, you know, understanding of every single character in this Blitz. game. Which, like, which would, would be no fun, wouldn't it? Like, it'd be, it'd be no fun whatsoever if that's the, if that was the case. Do you guys want this? Oh, they're immune to this. I forgot that. Urine for a little shock. Look at that. So good against these guys. That's such a good ability. Like, I don't know. I think maybe changing Sarah with, with Lisa might be a good idea. Like, I think I underestimated Lisa. Which isn't a bad thing, you know? Now that I'm using her, I'm like, oh, she's actually very good. And she has a really good, like, some really good abilities, too. And so does Sarah. Yeah. But I feel like having two archers on the team isn't needed, you know? Wait, is another enemy around here? Oh no, it's this. <laughs> oh, some of them are on fire. No one escapes my sight. This is the part where I Surrender say, I don't want like you. And then I get crystallized style. Or superconduct. Who knows? Come a little closer. We should be setting this guy on fire, to be honest. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't know this was timed. I did not know this was timed. I didn't even know it was a challenge. Okay, let's go again. Um. Probably because every time I kill something, I was just like, okay. I'm just being like smart about this. I'm probably not gonna be very good with the other characters. Um, there's no way 
that I'm doing this cho Oh, go away, which are No, no, no. No, please stop with the frozen. I'm just constantly frozen. I'm gonna do this challenge again. Please just stop with the constant freeze and we'll be okay. I'll respect you if you respect me, guys. Is that fair enough? Okay. I respect you of you. You respect me. This is a respectful duel. Yeah, I forgot we have swirl. We should use that more often. Okay. I have an idea now. Where we go into this. We're gonna do this again. I have an idea now. I have an idea now. Okay. Dodge this. Oh, so sorry. I think another one of these spawns right after this as well. Is that it? I thought there was more. I thought another one spawns. No? Okay. That does my. Okay, then th that's. I shouldn't have been saving Amber's power then. Final trial? Hey, look! It's an abyss mage! Please don't let it on! And then we do this. We can even like crystallize. And then get sired. Nice. Okay, cool. That was the easier part of the trial, of course. I think I think those mages were used used to be very hard. It's so well hidden. Oh, great voice acting. I have no interest in finding out where you little rascals hide yourselves away, but I do want my book back. Tell me, how is it that you have the time to conceal your stronghold and apply a magic seal, but not to sign out a library book in the proper manner? You have no respect whatsoever for other people's work. You. You just want the book? Yeah, that's all we want, the book. I was unaware that anyone in Mondstadt was concerned with unearthing the secret hidden inside this book. Give us the book or you die. Who? Who are you? Lisa. The librarian. Although I believe <laughs> that should be quite clear. That's a really good answer, though. I'm the librarian. Return the book. This is an ultimatum. <laughs> Since you insist on concealing your identity... No, she's literally the librarian. I have all the less reason to give you that book. Dude, she's literally the librarian. All, it contains... the secret. Huh? What, what, what are you doing? Such concentrated elemental power! P please don't! Is that us doing that? Oh, she, she gave him an ultimatum. After using all Lisa's patience, the abyss loses consciousness. Oh my god. Lisa's both. She's terrifying and strong. Boys who don't do what they're told need a little punishment to keep them in line. A little? <laughs> <sighs> this is why I call it troublesome work. We'll just need to find the book ourselves. It should be around here somewhere. Okay, that's fine. That was fun. Is this another trial? Oh. It's the Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies. Paimon remembers that Wait. name. Is this the one you were looking for? That's the one. It's a good thing it isn't damaged. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Are you telling me you have even more crazy punishments up your sleeve? <laughs> I would have probably have needed to dish out a little taste of one of my potions in that case. Uh... 
then again, as I said, it isn't from the restricted section, which is the only reason I would let the average citizen borrow so it. So, like, in the it's first strange place. why people are borrowing it then. And it doesn't appear to have any abnormal elemental properties, save for the markings I put on it. Yeah, it seems like just an average storybook. Yeah, so why did the Abyss as order? As my duties as a librarian go, my She's like, okay, I'm done. This is my part. <laughs> Since this book has piqued your interest, why don't I let you borrow it? <laughs> What's the due date? <laughs> There's no time limit for you. Oh. I will register you as custodian rather than borrower. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. Thank this you. This is an exclusive privilege reserved for trusted citizens only. Exclusive privilege? Why does Paimon feel this is just your sneaky way of offloading your troublesome work onto someone else? Excuse me? Are you in some way dissatisfied with my work? No, ma'am. No, it's fine. Good. We'll do it. You're amenable to reason, then. I do wish I could keep you by my side as my personal assistant. Let's do it. I'm up for it. My work here is done. I'm going back. Don't forget to register at the library when you have a spare moment. Okay, cool. Is there another chest around here? Because I, I want to make sure, because you never know in this game, because I missed a chest last time and, and I wouldn't like to... It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. Okay, cool. This was a really fun domain. This is really fun. Uh, oh. Hi. Um, oh, it's raining. out. That's so cool. I love the weather uh, in this game. It actually looks really good. So, we have to talk to Lisa now in the final parts of this story, right? That's the final portion of the story. Fair enough. Um, and then I want to read a book. And then we'll maybe start another quest. Cause I really love doing this. This is my favorite thing to do. I love running around getting books for Lisa. And I also like doing stuff like talking to Paimon. Sometimes I wish I could just talk to Paimon and Lisa all day. I wish I... I, I kind of like that I fell. Because he fell from the... This guy. Luke, you really <laughs> smell. Okay, we have our we have a priority straight. We're sorted. So where do we go? Here. Sorry, right. Right's a bit older, isn't he? Than our knights. The paperwork is done. You are now the really sweet. Like again, I love this, this little book. this little time with Lisa. I really feel like it did um, make me care about her character a bit more. Maybe like a bit her character a bit more. I think. Thank you, Miss Lisa. But Paimon thinks we're forgetting something. Look over there on the shelf. Isn't that the Tavat travel guide? And look how many copies there are. <laughs> the Tavat Travel Guide is a serial publication. It is not part of the library's formal collection. Oh. Take one. Consider it your compensation oh, for being Lisa's little helper today. Ah, uh, now in fairness, like, it was fun. It was fun, Lisa. With you by my side, my troublesome work was a little less dull than usual. Ah, uh, it was great. It was great. It was, mm. like, yeah. The Tavat Travel Guide was just bait to get us to do a day's work. <laughs> I hadn't anticipated that a few routine returns inquiries would take us out of the city. I mean, we got to have dinner. To some underground ruins. We got to buy some souvenirs. We got to buy some flowers. Then we got to have some fun in the underground ruins. As rooms. compensation for dragging you into all this bother, take these souvenirs. Your, your presence was com compensation enough, Lisa. Don't wow. worry about it. Keep Lisa it. Went and us keep him. Special souvenirs. No, keep them. Paimon, we're not taking them. Keep them. In fact, they were intended for our next outing. But. Never mind. We can discuss next time's activity when the time comes. I hope you are looking forward to it. Easily looking forward to it. <sighs> so looking forward to it. And then we have to take the travel guide. Nice. To be continued, there's gonna be no request. Yeah, the story quest with the characters. And we got an adventure rank? There are various ways to obtain adventure XP. Raise your adventure rank, whether it's completing various quests, look for quests, complete investigation, adventure handbook, where vendors are and blossoms. You can obtain XP from these activities to increase your adventure rank, more challenges and opportunities. That's cool. Awesome. What's... Ooh. So we have... This is the next one we have to do, which is justice for... 
but we need to venture rank 16. So these are the main quests we can do. Yeah. Guys, that was awesome. That was actually really fun. And I really loved learning about um, her a lot more. Um, let's take a look at that. I wanted to read more of this story because it's actually really interesting to me. Um, we'll, read, we'll read the Teva travel guide at some point too. Um, we got Hex and the Hound is something I want to read at some point too. We might read a volume by volume or something like that because we're going to be playing this for a while because look at that. There's no way we're going to read all of these in a row. You know what I mean? I feel like that would just be like... Like, let, let's be honest, like, I, th I think, you know, you guys said you really liked listening to me do this, and I, I really enjoy doing it, too, because I love it. But also, at the same time, you know, I feel like if I read too much, it would be uninteresting. So what I might do is, we might read volume two of this, and then read volume three of this next time. I'll read a volume four the next time after that. Um, I think that's the best way of doing it, really. I think that's probably the most fun, possibly. So let's read volume two. It is a well-known fact that the wolves have fa a far keener sense of smell than humans. Another way of putting this is their noses are much more sensitive. Little wonder, then, that the stench of alcohol emanating from the wolves' uh, now historically intoxicated prey, intoxicated prey was quite stif uh, stifling, stifling and caused tears to well up in its eyes. Arrgh, the wolf thought to itself. Having been born in the wilderness and grown up in the forest, the wolf had never had any contact with human civilization before this night. And though it had once caught this faint scent of wine wafting across Cider Lake, it didn't know what the scent or the scent's origins. Less still understand the significance of that substance to humankind. Perhaps this peculiar fellow is a relative of the skunk, for it seems that he had discovered uh, my presence quite some time ago, and now a means to poison me in an effort to secure his escape. The wolf pondered this possibility as it braced itself against the onslaught of alcoholic fumes, picked up its pace, and discreetly maneuvered its way into the drunkard's shadow, the perfect vantage point from which to inspect its prey. The wolf is a creature of caution and calculation. The drunkard, meanwhile, is a different sort of creature, yet totally opposite. And yet the wine tends to dizzy the mind and dull the senses. It sometimes affords its consumers a curious capacity to detect the subtlest change in the direction of wind. Perhaps this could explain how bum a bumbling drunkard, fumbling through the forest, was suddenly able to discover the presence of a wolf that had been stealthily following him the entire time. Or perhaps the alcohol fumes given off by the drunkard were sufficiently potent to diminish the wolf's mental acuity, to the point that the wolf became less mindful of the terrain beneath his paws. The resulting sound was snapping twigs, thus alerting the prey to its predator's presence. Who's that? Don't suppose you know which way to the trial by any chance? The bumbling drunkard rubbed his bleary eyes. Foul-smelling human, who are you, and whence proceed your stench? The wolf flared its nostrils, bore its fangs, and growled. Not only was the drunkard unafraid when he heard the wolf's gruffly voiced threat, but he even became quite animated. My friend, the drunkard replied. Clearly I've offended you somehow. Sorry about that, but anyway, Mondstadt tradition says you're not allowed to be drunk and bored at the same time, so here we are, out in the woods, in the glorious moonlit night. How about I tell you a story? His proposal was promptly punctuated by an almighty belch. Before that point, the wolf had no intention of listening to the belching buffoon drunken ramblings. In fact, it was poised to deliver a fatal blow to its prey by lunging the for its neck, sinking its fangs in, and tearing its throat clean out. But the drunkard's belch blasted a further bout of fumes in the wolf's direction, assailing its nostrils with force that ruined the wolf's appetite entirely. Grudgingly, the wolf agreed. <sighs> Perhaps I'm not so hungry after all. Let's see what nonsense tale you have to tell. The drunkard stretched out his arms and let her yawn, disturbing a few dandelions in the process. And with that, the drunkard began to tell his tale. Legend tells of a lone wolf that roamed the barren wasteland far, far away. Once he had, I'm sorry, I have to read on. Uh, once he had a king of his, uh, his pack leading them the hunt in battle and in search for a home. Now his sole remaining legacy of those days were the scars that covered his body. When he led the way as a way they ran across the plains, navigated through abandoned ruins, and passed through the domains of monsters and Seely. The wasteland was a cruel place. The wolf king grew older with each, pa each passing day, and the other wolves gradually dispersed. As time went by, the wolves' pack history faded into distant memory until finally only the aged wolf king remained as sole survivor of the pack. This wasteland is said to have been a land beyond the dominion of deities, inhabited by only the grotesque ghostly remains of fallen gods where the former palaces and Seely now stand empty. So when the solitary old wolf passed by a grey palace and heard the sound of music coming from within, it caught his attention. Never before have I heard the sound so pleasing to the ears. 
whether it be a song of bird or insect that stays the pangs of hunger in my starved stomach as this tune does. Um, intrigued, the wolf stepped inside the grey hall, trod across the overgrown weeds and passed by a broken sarcophagus, on which the portrait of the deceased ruler was still clearly visible. Finally he came to another room, where he saw a fair maiden strumming as in her instrument. Her skin was ashen white and her head was bowed down, or sl bowed down, her slender fingers gently stroking the fragile strings of the lute as she played along, forgotten and mournful memory. A long forgotten and uh, mournful uh, melody. The wolf sat down in front of the pale young maiden and forgot all about the pain of hunger, thirst, and loneliness for a short while, as it listened to her silence to her, uh, listened in silence to her song. Chirping insects of long gone autumn, night is the chorus of exiles, singing mankind's most ancient song as they live out their plight. Stripped of all that body once held close and soul held dear, songs and memories are all now that remain of yesteryear. The last singers, the first silly, they played their final tune in the Hall of Angels. The tiny, tiny Seely played in the forest were also drawn to the young maiden's tune and flocked to her and paid her to her pay her respects. What is this song you play? The wolf asked, puzzled, for it understood every line, every word, every, every syllable she spoke, and yet her language, her, hers was a language that it never had heard before, quite unlike that of any other living being. A song of Seely, replied the pale young maiden in a soft voice. Long ago we wrote this song for the human savages, yet now we sing it to mourn our own fate. The wolf began to sing along, albeit clumsy to the maiden's tune. The wolf's voice husky and broken, filled with a lifetime of sorrow. What are you what are you what are you singing? The maiden asked the wolf. This is our song. It sounds ghastly. The maiden had no attempt to soften her criticisms as she continued to, ca uh, to caress the lute strings. But you're welcome to sing along with me all the same. And so a shared chorus sang by a fair maiden and a weary old wolf filled the chambers of the long abandoned palace. It is said that to this day, adventurers who pass by the palace still hear a strange yet harmonious melody sounding from within. And then the story ends here. The wolf licked his lips somewhat ru uh, ruefully and then said, I suppose I shall tell you a story now. And with that, the wolf cleared his throat and began to tell his tale. Legend has it that the first wine of Mondstadt was brewed in the age when the north wind howled. In the age when the kings of ice fought, uh, frost fought for dominion. Monsad Forsbears brewed rudimentary wine from the wild fruits. And even as they shivered in the biting cold, they did so to ease the pain of their frostbitten fingers, and to give them courage to face the harsh and unforgiving ice. For at a time at that time the land of Monsta was engulfed in by ice and snow, and the dandelions had not yet reared their heads. It is said that the first person in Monsta to discover the craft of wine brewing was grossly, ne uh, grossly negligent guard. In a tribe beset by blizzards on all sides, it was an, an, an unviable, uh, unviable, 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 yeah, job, and hired the hunter-gatherers stock to storage pits uh, with food, and it was guard's task to guard against intruders. The slight, uh, the sight of human intruders was a rare one indeed in the harsh environment, but there were other creatures who could better withstand the cold, and they would burrow underground to reach food stocks. The rules of this tribe were that one person should inspect the storage pits at all times, filling in any mouse holes discovered. Or better still, catching them red-handed in the act of pilfering to keep uh, the tribe's food supplies at plentiful levels. At, at that time, the damp, dark caves needed constant care and attention to prevent the food uh, they held from going bad and rotting. On top of this, the mischievous little creatures that hid away out of sight would sometimes play pranks on the guards. One day, a wily windspeard noticed that the grossly negligent guard was one, the one being grossly negligent. So the spear took the form of a fox and crept into a pile of wild apples. There it caused yeast to grow, ripening the apples and causing them to ferment. The grossly negligent guard was ravenous when he returned and elected to partake in one of the apples. The mellow taste of fermented fruit delighted both his body and mind. Immediately, he took animal hide and squeezed the juice from the apples. He took animal, took animal hide and squeezed without creating wine. Grossly negligent, the guard who first invented brewing uh, in the age of ice and snow also became Monstad's first drunkard. It is said that he was the first person ever to fall into a drunken dream. In his first drunken dream, uh, he drunkenly entered the dreams of a lone wolf. Somewhere in the long lost past or possibly a far flung future, he fought fang and claw with the wival, uh, wival, the wival wolf packs battled with humans for food in the midst of a raging snowstorm and met the first Seelie. The tribe-dwelling human and the pack-dwelling wolf could not bear to live in solitude. This nearly, this newly brewed wine served 
uh, to bring uh, man and wolf together in their dreams. But their attitudes towards these dreams were poles apart. The human who knew only the wind and snow yearned for the wasteland where the lone wolf runs freely. But the lone wolf was fearful of the human desire. It couldn't understand why the human was captivated by the dangerous illusions and sought hope within them. What concerned the wolf even more was that the when in the, a drunken human dream, it could no longer distinguish whether it was a wolf or a human with a wolven spirit. So the wolf swore an oath to never touch human's poison again. To resist all the allure of wine, wolves, to wine, wolves are not uh, the children of the wind, and the land of wine and song is not their home. So the wolves left human's domain and settled for, far off in the wilderness and deep within the mountain forest, places where the scent of wine could not reach them. What do you humans call... What do you humans call wine? We wolves call the abyss. The wolf haughtily concluded. But as the wolf turned towards the drunkard to say his line, it discovered that the drunkard was now lying fast asleep in the pine branches. The wolf was most displeased and violently expelled a puff of air from his nostrils before leaving, still pungent pile of sleeping human to his business and going on its way. These stories are beautiful. Like, this was really fun to read through. And I genuinely think that, like, like, a lot of them are going to be telling us a lot about the human condition, but also, like, maybe the relationship with the nature and 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 the humans within that nature and how, like, yes, they have different ideals. Not different ideals, but they have, like, different ways of seeing the world. I don't know. This is, like, really, really cool. This is really cool. I'm glad I read that. I really am glad I read that. That was really, really neat. That was really, really neat. Well, I, I got 60 more prior gems. We're way off getting what we need to get though. We're we are we have six of those. We need two more fates, and I want one thousand more because I like doing the ten in a row, I guess. But we could do one, but like then I don't know. Like I want I want that fire uh, girl, that girl there. Uh, only five days remaining. We can do it. We can get it. We got six hundred like prio gems in one in two episodes, right? We can do it. We can do it. Right? Do, 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 do you guys believe in me that we can do it? I want that character so badly. I want that character so badly. I'm about to, like, cry. <laughs> it's a really cool character. And it was really fun to play as. See, the trials just made me want to, well, made me want to spend money on this game. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you've done! No, I said that we were not gonna play spend money on this game. We're gonna play it like this. Play it as if like we have like no money. Um Let's go. Okay, so what we have left, so we have a lot of things from Pyron, yeah. What we have left though to do uh wait. You get a prior gem for reading all of these? I forgot about this. Someone said this to me. <laughs> so I remember someone actually said this to me. I think you get like a rewarded for reading tutorials. What a novel concept, am I right? That's all of them. Wow. That was tough. That was really tough. There's glory down there. Okay, so the quests we have are those three quests that we have to do now. Um, we can do one part of it, right? We can definitely do one part of it. Uh, in fact, let's go do that now. So the first part we have to do is up at the up here. And again, we didn't freaking out. We're not gonna have to go from here. Yeah, we still didn't activate this, to, like, cause I'm a goddamn fool. Which way is it again? Oh, we have to activate the quest as well, though, don't we? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> it's actually not that far away. And you know what? We have Sayu, so hold on a second. Yeah. And this lasts for 20 seconds, which is actually pretty freaking good. Wait, you ain't good? Just best. Sire on my team for the next ten years. Make my escape.
Yeah, we did. We did quite a bit in this episode. Um, it just feels very natural. You know what I mean? It never feels like I just did. Um, who's that? Oh, you can. You're okay. It never feels like I did a three-hour or like a two and a half hour video ever. You know what I mean? With with, with um, this this series. Defeat the monsters guarding the rune to complete the challenge. <laughs> Defeat the monsters? Don't you mean? Cool it. He's only like level 20 as well. Look at this. What's the hurry? Don't push your luck. Very much like, um, tried to, um, block there, but I couldn't. That was my mistake, I guess. Knock him down a bit and let him get, uh, Sayud. Double Sayud, actually. Look at this. Double Sayud. I'd be embarrassed. You know what I mean? I would- I'd, I'd be embarrassed that I just got double Sayud. Not really though, Sayud's a beast. Dodge this. So what happens if we do this? Terra smash. You have that. Look at that, look at that. Calvin's just worried that he's like, you know... You get out there and you get that as well, you know? You know, you're looking, you're not, you're looking, Sayu's, Sayu's tired, you know, she's not coming back out for the rest of this fight, actually. She says she doesn't want to come out for the rest of the fight, you're looking. Are we getting Sayu'd? No, I think, I think Sayu's actually not going to come out, I was, I was lying. <laughs> actually, I was telling the truth. Fascinating. Paimon didn't think we'd find a volunteers in a place like this. As knights, we are taught to hone our investigative skills. Wow! Very impressive. Cool. So in we have other ones to do as well. The secret to finding what you are looking for is to never look for it in the first place. Don't think too much about it and don't search too hard. And before you know it, what you're looking for will appear right before your very eyes. Well, what? look, uh, what? <laughs> Don't worry about it too much. The more flustered you become, the less likely you are to find it. Pay I enjoy to having what you see in your peripheral vision, and you might oh, just there? stumble upon what you're looking for. I don't know. It doesn't sound like that would work. No, seriously, it does though. In fact, it's how I used to find my tortoise whenever he went missing. Wait, you had a pet tortoise? Yes, why? Something wrong, Paimon? No, it's, uh, well, just surprising is all. Why? Paimon can't imagine Jean having a pet tortoise. Surely you find it hard to imagine too, Master Diluc. No, I don't. <laughs> I had one too when I was a kid. What's so strange about it? What? You too? Um, yeah, this has been a really fun time, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you so much. And yeah, I really want Favonius. That's, that's what I want. Uh, uh, if I, get it, I don't know if I'll get her, but I really want her. But I want to thank everyone for supporting the series on Patreon. And thank you to I Can Never Pay the Baby Gangsta Tier. Uh, Typhiro 2, Jamie Bull, Janet the Banana, Smidge, Rachel S, Normal Cara, Felicitous Felix, George Candelaria, Eskun, Yuld, Radish, and brand new patron, Pokegirl. Thank you so much for everything. This is really fun. I'm having a great time. I'll see you all very soon.